Lucas. too far this time and was arrested May 13th after a performance in Arkansas where fans rushed the stage, sometimes encouraging fans to jump from the rafter. How are you going to do it? Give me, give me, give me 18 I see you. But how are you going to do it? reportedly injuring a police officer and a security guard. He now faces charges of endangering a minor, disorderly conduct, and inciting a riot. Yeah! Straight from Mexico, Paula Quintana. Yeah! Yeah, she smoked it! Swear to God, we go around the... Let's go! Let's go! It's your dishes, but... Straight from Mexico, Paula Quintana. Come here, bitch. Get that motherfucker, get him. You tried to take my shoe? You wanna be a thief? Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Fuck him up, fuck him up, fuck him up. Get him out of here. Get him out of here. Security, they weren't even checking bags. Like when I, the, a security guard had a little wooden stick. It was oh almost broken. And oh she was just God. poking in the bag. So as we're getting food, the timer for Travis to come on comes on his set and the music they're playing is just so fucking eerie. It's like so creepy. Like it's like not like any like it's not like anybody's music. It's just like weird like beats, like some samples, like I don't know, it's just weird. I find it highly sus. Travis is starting and I get stepped on, I get mm. punched, I mm. got elbowed. Travis comes on, it's I'm kind of towards the back, so it's not super crazy for me. Um, but like Five minutes in, fucking, like, one ambulance and another ambulance and another paramedic just start fucking running past me. Like, start trying to get through the crowd. I know at one point they were screaming, like, stop the, stop, like, stop performing, like, stop the performance. Because so many people were, like, passing out and literally dying. Stop the show! Stop the show! Stop the show! It just felt like we was, like, literally, like, in fucking hell, bro. Like, it felt like we was in a concert in hell. You couldn't breathe. You couldn't see, like... Just imagine all the people they're going to find tonight who was in that crowd, who nobody could see, who nobody could hear, who passed out, and everybody was just trampling on top of them the whole fucking concert. Like, 
I'm thinking it's probably gonna be like at least a hundred people who dead tonight. Like, I, I kid you not. Like, in the VIP section, it was so many bodies laid out. People was getting pulled out who was fainted. And the people were trying, the medics were trying to give them CPR and they was flipping them over and like they was literally turning black and blue. Like I never seen no, I never seen death in my fucking life, bro. Just by me alone, it was probably like 10 fucking people laid out dead. And like once the medics tried to help them, they wasn't responding. They moved to the next person. It was nothing they could have do. Like this shit, like this shit really fucked me up and like really spooked me tonight. Like that was like some demonic shit. Like, and what was so crazy, like people were screaming help. Trying to tell Travis, Travis Scott, they was like, help. The whole crowd was just going like, help, help, help. And he just kept going, bro. Yeah. You know, Travis acknowledged that something was happening in the crowd. He acknowledged that there was an ambulance. He acknowledged that someone was passed out and then just continued the concert. What the fuck is that? If everybody good, put a middle pick up in the sky. Okay, where my guy, man? Come on. Two hands to the sky. Two hands to the sky. Two hands up, y'all. Two hands up. Y'all know what y'all came to do. Chase me. Let's go. Whoa. I'm gonna make this fuck. Y'all were in there, bro. Shut the fuck up. Exactly. Y'all were in there. People are fucking dying. I'm gonna save somebody's life. Save somebody's kid. Two hands to the sky. I'm gonna save him. Two hands to the sky. Two hands up, y'all. Two hands up. Y'all know what y'all came to do. Chase me. Let's go. I want to make this motherfucking ground shake, goddammit. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Five, seven, eight, four. Yeah, yeah, yeah. bro and mind you y'all see the type of music i make y'all see everything like you know like i've been so heavily influenced by travis but like after tonight bro like god really showed me like you know like stay away from that shit bro like that shit not for you because like he sacrificed so many people's lives tonight like for real like so many people lives are gone tonight because they want to go to a fucking travis scott concert and have fun you know he influenced people to be raging and all this shit so many people broke in and it was just chaos, bro. It was a living fucking hell, bro. Imagine seeing all those dead bodies, and that was that was just by me. The energy was crazy, man. I can't even begin to put it into words for you guys. I literally watched somebody die right in front of me, um, and I'm still kind of in shock about it. I've never seen anything like that in my life. This was literally like an energy harvest. Like this was literally like a satanic ritual. He was Travis Scott was snatching souls, literally snatching people's souls. It felt demonic and satanic as fuck. And like, I, I'm wearing a cross right now, but like, I'm not even fucking religious, like 0% like whatsoever. It just felt so fucking weird. I just want to send out prayers to the, to the ones that was lost last night. We're actually working right now to identify the families so we can help assist them through this tough time. You know, my fans, my fans like, my fans really mean the world to me and I always just really want to leave them with a positive experience. And any time I can make out, you know, anything that's going on, you know, I, you know, I just stop the show and, you know, help them get the help they need, you know? Um, I could just never imagine the severity of the situation. Uh, we've been working closely, uh, we've been working closely with everyone to just try to get to the bottom of this, the city of Houston, HPD, fire department, you know, everyone, uh, you know, help us, help us figure this out. So if you, if you have any information, um, you know, please just contact your local authorities. Um, everybody continue to just keep your prayers. I mean, I'm, I'm honestly just devastated and 
I could never imagine anything like this just happening. And I'm gonna do everything I can to keep you guys updated and just keep you guys informed on what's going on. Um, love you all. Kylie Jenner, who he shares daughter Stormy with, commenting, quote, I want to make it clear we weren't aware of any fatalities until the news came out after the show and in no world would have continued filming or performing. Sure, Jan. Kylie Jenner's Instagram story with the paramedics in the corner.